G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here again with another YouTube series, this time around focusing on C Sharp for those people who have no prior knowledge with the programming language. This particular playlist, I'm just going to focus on the very basic skills and build our way up from there. And I'm going to branch off into three different directions at that point. And I'm going to have one playlist for Windows apps, another playlist for scripting in Unity 3D. And if I get enough time, I'm going to do a third playlist for cross-platform mobile apps in Xamarin. Now, if you know what Visual Studio is and you have it installed, please go to the next video where we're going to be talking about projects, okay? But right now, this is for people who've never ever touched Visual Studio before and need to know how to get it and install it, okay? What you're going to do, I've already mentioned Visual Studio, so let's quickly mention that. Visual Studio is what's called an integrated development environment. It's a huge program which contains lots of tools designed for you to be able to develop different types of programs and applications. Now let's quickly go to the website. If you just go to visualstudio.com, you're going to be greeted with the page you see before you. Click on the download links at the top and you see we get greeted again with lots of different flavors of Visual Studio. The one that we're going to get today is going to be Visual Studio Community. It's free and it gives you a ton of features. These two professional enterprise you have to pay for. Code, you can't make Windows apps in, but it's designed for people who like Visual Studio and they want to use it on their Mac or Linux box. You can do it on Windows as well, but you may as well get the Community Edition. So as of making this video, Microsoft have released the 2017 RC version. Now that means RC stands for Release Candidate, which is effectively a beta, but it's the version they intend to release to the public. So I'm actually going to install that one today. Just by clicking on the link, I get a tiny little installer package, which I'm going to click on to open up. Yep, I agree to it for sure. And I'm going to agree to the license terms. Now let's have a quick look at the installer and all the different features that you can turn on or off for Visual Studio. By default, you will just get the code interface, which is actually effectively the same as downloading Visual Studio code. But then we can turn on certain features so we can make more different types of programs. All right, here we go. What I want to do is just before we focus on these little tick boxes, which are the different features you can add to Visual Studio, have a look down the bottom. There's the location of where it's installing to. I'm going to put it on the C drive because that's solid state and that means it'll turn on a bit quicker. I've got installation nickname, which I'm just going to put as VS for Visual Studio. And over on the right, you can see we've got a summary of things that we're about to install. Right now, we've just got the editor. And then down here, we've got the installation size. Now, keep an eye on this installation size because it will change dramatically. All right. The one we're going to need for this video series or just this playlist is going to be the .NET desktop development. Okay, and you can see just by clicking that, it's already gone to 3.58 gigabytes. So not huge, but it is actually, it's big for some people, I might say. Okay, if you were interested in developing universal Windows programs, so ones that work across, you know, Windows, mobile, and Xbox One, tick that one, but then pay attention to the install size because that just went to 8.25 gigabytes. All right, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to turn that one off. And you can see there's lots of different things you can use, such as Node.js, Azure, web development, and things like that. Coming down, this is the mobile development package I was talking about before, Xamarin. If I click on that, notice it just went to 14.09 gig. Massive, okay? So I'm not going to install that today. And the game development with Unity, you'll need if you want to do that one as well. It's not too bad in terms of size, okay? It's about the same as the... Uh, universal one up there but i've already got it installed so i'm not going to bother ticking on that one there i'm ready to go i'm going to untick class designer because that's not default and i'm going to hit install and what it's going to do it's going to connect to the internet it's going to download all the things so this is your progress at the top here for downloading your files and applying is the installation progress so i'm going to leave it as it is i'm going to stop the video come back when it's finished Okay, so we've got the installation finished here and it's told me I need to reboot. So I'm going to do just that. And once again, I'll come back to the video in just a moment. Okay, so we've done the reboot and we're back ready to start up Visual Studio. I'm just going to quickly type it in under the start button. And there it is, Visual Studio 2017 RC. Now, I know I said this was a free version, but if you want to be able to use this application without any limitations, you have to sign in. Okay, and if you don't have an account, there was a sign up button down there. You simply have to click that. Now, I'm not going to sign in this video. All right, I will after I finish recording. I'm just going to quickly close that and show you the quick setup. So the development settings change the way the interface looks. And as you can see, there's lots of different programming languages available in Visual Studio. 
So if you're going to be using C Sharp, simply select the Visual C Sharp, select which theme you like. I personally like just the default blue. Hit Start Visual Studio. It will actually take a few minutes. It's not lying to you. And then you're ready to go for the next video. So I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I'd like you to think about subscribing or liking the video. Please provide a comment if you've got one. And we're ready for the next video to start making a project and looking around on the inside. All right, catch you in the next video, everyone.